A piezoelectric sensor is a device that uses the piezoelectric effect, to measure changes in pressure, acceleration, temperature, strain, or force by converting them to an electrical charge. The prefix piezo is Greek for «press» or «squeeze». Applications Piezoelectric sensors are versatile tools for the measurement of various processes. They are used for quality assurance, process control, and for research and development in many industries. Pierre Curie discovered the piezoelectric effect in 1880, but only in the 1950s did manufacturers begin to use the piezoelectric effect in industrial sensing applications. Since then, this measuring principle has been increasingly used, and has become a mature technology with excellent inherent reliability. They have been successfully used in various applications, such as in medical, aerospace, nuclear instrumentation, and as a tilt sensor in consumer electronics or a pressure sensor in the touch pads of mobile phones. In the automotive industry, piezoelectric elements are used to monitor combustion when developing internal combustion engines. The sensors are either directly mounted into additional holes into the cylinder head or the spark glow plug is equipped with a built in miniature piezoelectric sensor. The rise of piezoelectric technology is directly related to a set of inherent advantages. The high modulus of elasticity of many piezoelectric materials is comparable to that of many metals and goes up to 106 N per square meter. Even though piezoelectric sensors are electromechanical systems that react to compression, the sensing elements show almost zero deflection. This gives piezoelectric sensors ruggedness, an extremely high natural frequency and an excellent linearity over a wide amplitude range. Additionally, piezoelectric technology is insensitive to electromagnetic fields and radiation, enabling measurements under harsh conditions. Some materials used especially gallium phosphate or tourmaline are extremely stable at high temperatures, enabling sensors to have a working range of up to 1000 degrees Celsius. Tourmaline shows pyroelectricity in addition to the piezoelectric effect, this is the ability to generate an electrical signal when the temperature of the crystal changes. This effect is also common to piezoceramic materials. Gotchi in Piezoelectric Sensorics 2002 offers this comparison table of characteristics of piezo sensor materials versus other types. One disadvantage of piezoelectric sensors is that they cannot be used for truly static measurements. A static force results in a fixed amount of charge on the piezoelectric material. In conventional readout electronics, imperfect insulating materials and reduction in internal sensor resistance causes a constant loss of electrons and yields a decreasing signal. Elevated temperatures cause an additional drop in internal resistance and sensitivity. The main effect on the piezoelectric effect is that with increasing pressure loads and temperature, the sensitivity reduces due to twin formation. While quartz sensors must be cooled during measurements at temperatures above 300 degrees Celsius, special types of crystals like gallium-3 phosphate gallium phosphate show no twin formation up to the melting point of the material itself. However, it is not true that piezoelectric sensors can only be used for very fast processes or at ambient conditions. In fact, numerous piezoelectric applications produce quasi-static measurements, and other applications work in temperatures higher than 500 degrees Celsius. Piezoelectric sensors can also be used to determine aromas in the air by simultaneously measuring resonance and capacitance. Computer-controlled electronics vastly increase the range of potential applications for piezoelectric sensors. Piezoelectric sensors are also seen in nature. The collagen in bone is piezoelectric, and is thought by some to act as a biological force sensor. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Principle of operation. The way a piezoelectric material is cut produces three main operational modes Transverse Longitudinal Shear Transverse effect A force applied along a neutral axis y displaces charges along the x direction, perpendicular to the line of force. The amount of charge c x c underscore x depends on the geometrical dimensions of the respective piezoelectric element. When dimensions a b D display style a b d apply c x equals d x y f y b a Display style c underscore x equals d underscore x y f underscore y b a, where a display style a is the dimension in line with the neutral axis. B display style b is in line with the charge generating axis, and d. Display style d is the corresponding piezoelectric coefficient. Three. Topic: Longitudinal effect. The amount of charge displaced is strictly proportional to the applied force and independent of the piezoelectric element size and shape. Putting several elements mechanically in series and electrically in parallel is the only way to increase the charge output. The resulting charge is C x equals D x x F x n Display style c underscore x equals d underscore x x f underscore x and tilde, where d x x display style d underscore x x is the piezoelectric coefficient for a charge in x direction released by forces applied along x direction in P C N f x display style f underscore x is the applied force in x direction n and n display style n corresponds to the number of stacked elements topic shear effect The charges produced are strictly proportional to the applied forces and independent of the element size and shape. For n display style n elements mechanically in series and electrically in parallel the charge as c x equals 2 d x x f x n display style c underscore x equals 2 d underscore x x f underscore x n in contrast to the longitudinal and shear effects the transverse effect make it possible to fine tune sensitivity on the applied force and element dimension Topic. Electrical properties A piezoelectric transducer has very high DC output impedance and can be modeled as a proportional voltage source and filter network. 
The voltage V at the source is directly proportional to the applied force, pressure, or strain. The output signal is then related to this mechanical force as if it had passed through the equivalent circuit. A detailed model includes the effects of the sensor's mechanical construction and other non-idealities. The inductance Lm is due to the seismic mass and inertia of the sensor itself. Ce is inversely proportional to the mechanical elasticity of the sensor. Co represents the static capacitance of the transducer, resulting from an inertial mass of infinite size. Re is the insulation leakage resistance of the transducer element. If the sensor is connected to a load resistance, this also acts in parallel with the insulation resistance, both increasing the high-pass cutoff frequency. For use as a sensor, the flat region of the frequency response plot is typically used, between the high-pass cutoff and the resonant peak. The load and leakage resistance must be large enough that low frequencies of interest are not lost. A simplified equivalent circuit model can be used in this region, in which C's represents the capacitance of the sensor surface itself, determined by the standard formula for capacitance of parallel plates. It can also be modeled as a charge source in parallel with the source capacitance, with the charge directly proportional to the applied force, as above. Topic. Sensor design Based on piezoelectric technology various physical quantities can be measured, the most common are pressure and acceleration. For pressure sensors, a thin membrane and a massive base is used, ensuring that an applied pressure specifically loads the elements in one direction. For accelerometers, a seismic mass is attached to the crystal elements. When the accelerometer experiences a motion, the invariant seismic mass loads the elements according to Newton's second law of motion. F, F equals m a. Display style F equals ma. The main difference in working principle between these two cases is the way they apply forces to the sensing elements. In a pressure sensor, a thin membrane transfers the force to the elements, while in accelerometers an attached seismic mass applies the forces. Sensors often tend to be sensitive to more than one physical quantity. Pressure sensors show false signal when they are exposed to vibrations. Sophisticated pressure sensors therefore use acceleration compensation elements in addition to the pressure sensing elements. By carefully matching those elements, the acceleration signal released from the compensation element is subtracted from the combined signal of pressure and acceleration to derive the true pressure information. Vibration sensors can also harvest otherwise wasted energy from mechanical vibrations. This is accomplished by using piezoelectric materials to convert mechanical strain into usable electrical energy. Topic. Sensing materials Two main groups of materials are used for piezoelectric sensors, piezoelectric ceramics and single crystal materials. The ceramic materials such as PZT ceramic have a piezoelectric constant, sensitivity that is roughly two orders of magnitude higher than those of the natural single crystal materials and can be produced by inexpensive sintering processes. The piezo effect in piezo ceramics is trained, so their high sensitivity degrades over time. This degradation is highly correlated with increased temperature. The less sensitive, natural, single crystal materials gallium phosphate, quartz, tourmaline have a higher, when carefully handled, almost unlimited, long-term stability. There are also new single crystal materials commercially available such as lead magnesium niobate lead titanate PMNPT. 
These materials offer improved sensitivity over PZT but have a lower maximum operating temperature and are currently more expensive to manufacture. See also Charge amplifier List of sensors Piezoelectricity Piezoelectric speaker Piezoresistive effect Ultrasonic homogenizer Ultrasonic transducer <laughs>